Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. No camera today because I'm doing a skin treatment and I look like a cherry tomato. If you're new here, my name's Ash. I'm 27, I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and on this channel we play capture the flags and we learn cybersecurity together on our way to becoming a professional. On today's video, we are going over another Try Hack Me room called Library and this is a boot to root machine. For my room notes on this room and all the others that I've gone through, check hack notes in the description. While you're there, if you want links or timestamps, you'll see them too. With that all being said, let's get started. So I've logged into Try Hack Me here and we've gone to the room library. So like our other rooms, we don't have any real hints or much as far as our description. Besides, we're looking for our user.txt and our root.txt. So let's go ahead and start our machine. All right, once our machine is booted, make sure that we're on the network and we can ping our machine. So we'll start with a Rust skin and we can find we've got SSH and a HTTP. So let's go and find out some more information about our server in our port 80 specifically. So it looks like we have some sort of blog. Just by scrolling down, we can see some hints for some usernames. And if we look at the actual links, um, they're not going to any page. So it doesn't look like there's much going on as far as other files. We can scroll down to our comments and the same thing, our links aren't actually going anywhere. They're all just using a hashtag, um, but this is sort of cluing us in. We've got some possible users here. Uh, there is a form and we can see that that actually doesn't do anything. And we can sort of confirm this by going over to our source code Code. Again, our links aren't going anywhere and our form doesn't actually have an action. So it looks like that this is kind of like the only page. So let's go ahead and do a Ferox Buster scan and we're going to go ahead and use our sec lists of common.txt and we're going to go against that IP. So after looking at our scan results, we can see that we've got our title that we've already seen and we do have a robots.txt that we can go look at. And at the same time, we're also getting a 200 OK message from our scan. So let's go and check that out. So all we have here is a user agent of RockU. Now this is just a little hint saying that we need to use the RockU uh, word list. So we can go ahead and do that. Now the trick is exactly where are we using this word list and with what. So if we go back to our homepage, we've been given another username here. So we actually have our username and then our password's going to be somewhere on this list. And given that we only have one other port to try, safely assume that we're going to be using SSH brute force as that login. So there's a few ways that we could do this. I'm gonna go ahead and use Hydra for this. So we can use the dash lowercase l to specify our username or our login. And remember we have this here. So we can go ahead and paste that in. Then we wanna do an uppercase P for a word list. So let's go ahead and specify our rocku.txt. Then we can go ahead and specify the IP and then the protocol that we wanna be brute forcing, SSH. And let's see the output of that with VV. Um, so it's actually a setting that I forgot to include in here and we want to use the dash t for tasks and we can specify an amount that we want and four is pretty good awesome so that might take a little bit of time to actually find the password but once you have it we can save that off let's then go over to ssh and log in as our user if that yes we can type in the password that we saw and just make sure that you're actually typing in the correct username and then we can finally get in so first of all we can list out what we can see and we can go ahead and find our user.txt paste that into try hack me. Then the only other thing that we see is this VAK high file. So it looks like we can read it. Looks like it indeed runs this through Python and it's going ahead and looking like it's going to zip and compress a backup file. Now, if we actually run sudo dash L, we can see what we can run as sudo and turns out we can actually run Python. So this is hinting towards us being able to run a BAK.py file here as the root. So this actually took me ages to find out and figure out but what we can go ahead and do is we can just remove that file so now it's totally gone and we can go ahead and just make a new file and as long as we call it the same thing we can go ahead and put a reverse shell in there so you can see my hack notes to get access to this reverse shell but this is a pretty common one you can find anywhere i'm just going to type in my ip address of my machine that it's going to talk back to and we'll just specify a port there next up we'll just get a netcat listener on the same port and make sure that we have our switches in the right order as something i learned from f11 snipe and if you want to check out the video to that interview you can see that on the screen now so now let's go ahead and run python against this new reverse shell that we've just created and we do know the password for our user and that didn't work can we just run it without sudo yeah no <laughs> 
Uh, so we ran that as the same user, which is not exactly what we want to do. We want to run it with root privileges so we can actually get access to that root. So I think it was user Python. Let's just run sudo dash L again, user bin Python, anyone. Okay, that's what we can do. So it's the full, not just Python, but the whole thing. Uh, let's try that again, make sure that we actually have our reverse shell. Um, let's just get rid of the star and oh, damn, we're close. We're very close. Let's get our netcat listener up again. We'll do this, but this time run it as our user and there we go we see the pound symbol uh that's what i was i was so close so now we got root let's go over to our root directory we can see here we've got our root.txt we can go ahead and cat that out and paste it into try hack me awesome all right that was library hope you enjoyed this room thank you so much for watching up until the end feel free to do all of the youtube stuff leave a like comment subscribe appreciate your support for the channel up on the screen you're going to see my recommended video to an interview that i had with fl and snipe an absolute beast in the community we go over the basics of bash and is well worth the watch if you are new to capture the flags and try hack me and this cyberspace world so thanks again and i will catch you in the next one